Hello and welcome. This is Corey from the Box Scholar YouTube channel. It's very nice to have you with me today. This is a video on how to improve your piano technique. I get uh, asked very often by uh, students and also in emails, how do I improve my technique? Well, first of all, you need to define technique. So a technique usually means more control over your fingers and uh, better stretching. Uh, more strength, that sort of thing. Maybe speed also can, can factor into that as well. Um, although I don't regard speed necessarily as a measure of technique. Uh, I think it's, it's uh, more accurate to measure technique by your flexibility and your strength. Because just face it, there aren't very many pieces that need to be played as fast as possible. Okay, there are some, but not very many. When you take all the, all the pieces for piano in the classical music repertory, you know, probably 3% or less of all the pieces need to be played as fast as possible. So a speed isn't necessarily something that means technique. Just because you can play fast doesn't mean you have great technique. I think tech mean, technique means more uh, flexibility and strength. And uh, for that, I highly recommend broken chords and inversions, which I'll play for you in a minute here. So broken chords and inversions are what some people would call arpeggios. Um, I call arpeggios more... octaves like that of broken chords that's what I refer to as arpeggios and many other piano teachers do as well and broken chords on the other hand or more are the chord, four note chords with inversions so I would recommend learning all major and minor keys with four note chords and inversions in major minor dominant seventh and diminished seventh those four there there are more patterns as well but those are the four most basic ones uh chords that you'll find in music so in practicing broken chords and inversions with four and five notes because the seventh chords have five notes in them and they'll have one more inversion by doing that in every key major and minor you're also improving your theory skills. And a lot of people don't realize that, but your theory skills. So if you can play all the major and minor broken chords in all the keys, you have, you, you're potentially, you have a, a lot of uh, uh, knowledge in the area of music theory. So if you can't do that, you're gonna have problems in music theory. So you're gonna be able to recognize chords faster in all their inversions if you're able to do this. So it kills two birds with one stone. You're improving your piano technique, you're improving your, your flexibility, you're improving your strength, you're improving the way you use your fingers, and at the same time you're improving your theory skills. Now don't just rush out and buy this book, okay? I, I know that, you know, I, I like people to buy my books, yes. <laughs> the Holy Trinity of Piano Technique is one of my bestsellers. A lot of people own this. It's a great book. It has these exercises in it as the third exercise. It's what I call Better Than Hannon. I call it Better Than Hannon because it uses all five fingers like the Hannon exercise, but they're better, and they're better because they're more practical. They're not just all on the white keys like Hannon, and they're not just next to each other and in, in almost in five finger positions like Hannon, but it stretches out your hands and, and fingers and teaches you how to play in octave positions. Playing in octave positions is one of the uh, foremost um, characteristics of romantic piano music. So if you want to play Chopin, Liszt, Debussy, those kinds of composers, then you need to do this exercise all the time, daily. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a metronome here on the computer. 
because I usually use my metronome on my phone and I'm using my phone to record this video. So I'm going to put on a metronome here at 42, 42 beats per minute. And I am going to play for you all of the keys, major and minor, from C all the way up to B, broken chords and inversions in major, minor, dominant seventh and diminished seventh at 42 beats per minute. And I, I just want to tell you, I haven't warmed up with this. I haven't played this exercise in months. So I just want to prove to you that it, it's, it's lodged in my long-term memory. It's not just something that I had to work up for you for this video, but I haven't, I've been cold. I haven't even played the piano barely for, for several days, actually, because I've been working on lots of other things. So without any further ado, here is broken chords and inversions um, uh, from C to B, and in other words, the better than hand in exercise, which I, which I sell in the Holy Trinity of Piano Technique. This should be done memorized. All technical exercises should be memorized. Do not read the sheet music for this. Maybe one time through. You know, you can look at the sheet music a few times, but try to get away from it because you need to do these memorized. So here we go. It also improves your rhythm, by the way. So that's another element which I forgot to mention. Feel the beat first before you start. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
playing fours, you're playing sixteenth notes, but then when you go into the fives, you're playing quintuplets.
C to B. And uh, with the metronome, I know sometimes I was speeding a little bit because I was talking and trying to do like three things at one time. But what you need to be able to do is play this in every key, every key, major, minor, dominant seventh, diminished seventh, uh, high fingers, no over connecting. Okay, so, so don't, don't hold down more than one finger at a time. You're only going to play one finger at a time. Play all legato. Focus on getting a nice tone, a nice legato tone. Every now and then you can do staccatos. That's good, but don't overdo staccatos. Legato is the, uh, the most beautiful touch for piano, and it is the default touch for piano. Legato is default, staccato, it's good to be able to do staccato, but don't make a big deal about it, and don't hack this exercise all up and make it not uh, beautiful to listen to. So you want to approach this exercise and all exercises as you would a piece of music. You don't want to uh, get in the habit of uh, hacking things up, Just keep it nice. Just a nice, a nice sort of mezzo forte tone. You don't want to be too loud. You don't want to pound everything out. You want to make it as if it were a piece of music, like. Do you hear how, do you hear my nice, nice tone in that? And so you want. Nice tone, the same tone as you would get in a nice piece of music. So that's my little lesson today for you on how to improve your technique. I strongly stand by these exercises. You need to learn them memorized and you need to do them every single day. I guarantee you, if you can play the four and five note broken chords and inversions in all the keys, you will shoot way forward in your piano playing skills. I guarantee it. So thank you for joining me today. And until we meet again.